Greetings ladies and gentlemen, I'm Narsgil and welcome to the Look What I Did For UMC This Week series, part 1. This time we will be taking a look at the changes in the politics tab. So as you can see, the politics tab got a little bit bigger. Now we can have 5 political advisors, 2 terrorists and 5 military staff members. If you are already starting to think, but wait Narsgil, that's overpowered. Bear with me because I am going to explain to you how I balance this stuff. First of all we must talk about how Paradox changed the military staff in the No Step Back DLC. In their patch every military high command cost uh, command power. They made it that every military high command costed command power. However that change seems irrational for me because in my opinion more members in the military high command should give you more command power. And that's what I did. Every military high command member now gives you command power. Same as uh, chief of army, chief of navy and chief of air force. However, the number of advisors must be limited somehow, right? Yes, but instead of them costing uh, command power, each chief of army Navy or Air Force or Military High Command now cost daily political power. That represents the cost of them being in the Military High Command, the cost of organization and other things. This also means that basically every next Military High Command member you employ will cost more because it will slow down your political power gain. It's important to note that not every chief costs political power. Some notable example is Goering, who actually gives you po political power because his sole purpose in Luftwaffe was to lead it in the line with the government's intentions. Next example of this is Wilhelm Keitel, who was put as a chief of army just to be Hitler's yes man. As you can see in the politics tab, there are two free places left. That means that after further testing I can add one more advisor and one more military high command. You can currently vote to influence that decision on our discord. Now what concerns the advisors, they currently doesn't cost political power because it would feel wrong to have the people in the government actually take political power from you. From these changes I expect that the political power will have much larger impact on the gameplay and that more military high command members will be used, not only the army ones. Speaking of the military high command again, you are now actually not only limited by the political power but also their focus. You can employ at max 3 military high command members from each branch free from army, free from navy and free from air force. That will further balance the increased number of slots. That will be all from the general changes and now we will take a look at one concrete advisor I created, Bernard Rust. Rust was a Reichs Minister of Science, Education and National Culture and employing him will at first come with significant penalties, however will provide significant bonuses after 5 years. Let me show you. As you can see, when we employed him, this mission triggered. And if we stay above minus 250 political power and 35 stability for 5 years, we will receive significant buffs. Completing this mission also secures more support in the civil wars that will come. And believe me, they will come. That will be all for this episode, if you are interested in UMC, make sure to subscribe and check the links below. Bye!